How About That Cigar is proud to bring you coverage of the 2023 PCA Trade Show, all brought to you by Don Doroteo Cigars. How About That Cigar, we are here in Las Vegas, Nevada. It is PCA 2023. Howard G, how are you doing? I'm doing phenomenal. Hi, Taylor. Man, how are you doing? My bro? friend, how are you? Good, bro. It is, a, it is a beautiful day here in Las Vegas, a little hot outside, but it's nice and cool inside. Absolutely. So, we got to meet you last year for the first time, mm -hmm. and uh, just been great getting to know you and getting to know your brands and your passion for cigars and your passion for this uh, passion for sports as well, and I love how you tie that in. So talk to us, before we get into the new, the new stuff, talk to us about how the last year's gone for you. The last year's been phenomenal for us, honestly, man. Honestly, we, what we, we strive to do is just to get better every single day. Myself, Ike, also Leon, Cersei, we all try to just be better every single day as an individual, as a person, yeah. human being. You know, we like to create positive relationships. We like to leave every situation with a person feeling better than it was before they actually had an encounter with us. Yeah. And so with that being the case, you know, we do, our hashtag is, you know, slinging cigars. Yeah. Our hashtag is, we got action. We got a new one called, we in motion. Because when you're in motion, you ain't never stop. He's constantly moving. And that's all we're doing right now. Yeah. You know, and Ike is, you know, a, a, a one of the top scouts for the, for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Leon has his own radio station. Plus, he also works with the Jaguars. So for those guys to take time out of their schedule and stuff like that, to still have time to get with me about cigars, get with me about what we what we're gonna do next. We, you know that right there is is what's 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 important. Yeah. Because you can't become an all pro uh, uh, on the line unless unless those guys approve of it. You yeah. know what I mean? And so just all the other stuff that we're doing together is just been incredible. Yeah. And it's like I said, these are my brothers. Yeah. Well, one of the things that I've always been interested in because. You know, us us not having a, a background in, in, in sports at all, for what we see as the, as the public, you know, a lot of times cigars are seen as a celebratory item, you know, whether it's a championship or whatever, you see guys celebrating with cigars. Uh, but even, even aside from the celebrations of championships, just during the regular, your regular workout week or your regular game week, are guys spending time to relax aside from the game with cigars? It's a lifestyle. Yeah. So, it's, so I'm, I'm, a, I'm a health nut. So as, as far as like food, as far as like training, working out, as far as like eating, cigars is part of my lifestyle. Okay. And, and, and that's what I think people don't really understand. Now, the, the Corona cigar on Sand Lake in Orlando that we go to pretty much every day, it's like cheers. Oh yeah! Everybody know everybody. Yeah. And this started at ten thirty in the morning. Yeah. You know, so, and I've seen that over the past couple of years of hanging out with Howie, and just understanding like cigars, smoking cigars is really like a lifestyle. And like you say, people usually have cigars, or you see cigars when it come down to a celebration. Yeah. How we look at it, we try to simplify it. <laughs> as long as you're waking up in the morning, it's a celebration. Yeah. Yeah. So why not celebrate smoking one of the Howard G cigar line? Yeah. No, that's a great way to put it because it is it is a lifestyle, and those of us who who kind of love this cigar culture, it is something that any anybody can get to be a part of it. It doesn't matter where you come from. It doesn't matter what your background is. Uh, it doesn't matter what kind of cigar you like. Correct. That's your cigar, it's and you're common, part of it. It's the common denominator. Yeah. Regardless on what religion you is, regardless yeah. on where you're from, regardless on your occupation. Yeah. It's one thing when you smoke cigars if you're a male or female, and this is this is the common denominator. Yeah. When you smoke cigars mentally, it puts you on vacation mode. Yeah. Regardless on where you at. Yeah. You get off the cigar, you gotta go back to work, you gotta be a dad, you gotta be a mom, you gotta be a boss, you gotta be an employee. Yeah. And when you smoke on this cigar, well whoever you smoking with, mentally for me my opinion it puts me on a vacation yeah and it, and it is good to have that you know especially you get in stressful times you know maybe you get fed up with your kids maybe you get fed up with your boss this is an, an escape correct whether it's 30 minutes or a long cigar two hours it's an escape correct yeah correct. i like that so uh talk to us about what you're featuring uh this year we got the box right here so you know what i'm gonna do is for for this segment introducing the, the, the 2023 uh, I'm gonna let I. So look. 
So we we we've been doing this these golf tournaments, these uh, charity events, and how it came up with a brilliant idea, as y'all can see. This is called a perfect round. And I don't know if y'all ever played golf, because I probably played like four, maybe five times on my life. But damn, this is a perfect cigar. So you got the front nine, you got the back nine. And I'm going to tell how it is, because this is my first time really thinking about <laughs> it. Like, the front nine is like a breakfast cigar stick. Like okay. my like my one of a kind Connecticut Connecticut rap yeah. on the Howard G cigar line, right? So you gotta hit the front nine. And usually when you hit the front nine, you want it to be smooth, you don't want it to be too heavy. I really haven't had nothing to drink, but I can smoke it with my coffee, I can smoke it with my coffee. Yeah. So it's a good equalizer. Now on the back nine, when I done had a drink or two and got hydrated, then put some snacks in my stomach. Then I go to my little heavier on yeah. the back nine with the, with this cigar. But now that I'm on my back nine, because I, sm I smoked the front nine already, they like twins. Yeah. And if anybody had any set of twins, you don't you don't you don't split them apart. So these two vary well with each other. You gotta smoke the front nine yeah. to be able to enjoy the back nine. Yeah. And that's my conclusion. This is my first day smoking. This is my first time seeing them. We've been talking about it for months, but this is my first time ever sitting down and smoking them. Yeah. So, for all y'all people who, who who like golfing, there's a lot of us out there. I'm, I'm, fi I'm finally getting into it. <laughs> In order for you to enjoy the back nine, you have to smoke the front nine. It's like a set of twins. And what you don't want to do with twins is split them apart because they got a bond that we can't relate to. Yeah. These two cigars got a bind we can't relate to. When yeah. you smoke them together, you can relate to both of them. Okay, I like that. So is this is this cigar, is this the one size that that cigar, that blend's yeah. available in? Okay. Yeah, that blend's available in that particular size because uh, we wanted to last you each hole. I was just gonna say, that's uh, that's the right size for the front nine and the back nine. Yes, Cause that will get you through a full round of golf. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. And if anybody, <laughs> We, I, I don't know about you. I've never shot a perfect round, but but that would make we on the same page. That would that that would make my shooting a a, a ninety five a lot more enjoyable. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. So that's that's where we at with it, man. How when it came out, how would a mastermind? Yeah. You know, just and we don't even go play golf. We just hang around so many people from the cigar area, especially in the state of Florida. Yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a golf state. Yeah. You can golf anytime, whenever you want to, whether it's the morning or the evening, yeah. depending on the weather. And usually the weather is good in the morning. So he didn't mastermind this, this perfect round in the front and the back now, but just me just smoking both of them, they like twins to me. Yeah. You can't enjoy one and not enjoy the other. Right. Vice versa. However you want to do it. Maybe your palate, you might want to go with the back nine first and simmer down on the first nine, on, on the front nine. Yeah. Have at it. Yeah. Unless you want me, I'd rather go on the front and then hit yeah. the, 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 the mile to meet him or to the ball on the back nine. So yeah. that's how I look at these cigars, man. But how are he doing this thing? So we, whatever your palate is, right. of course, you all see the selection yeah. between the Magic Stick, the Black Moses, the All Pro Series. Now, he didn't came out with a perfect round, but yeah. just for me smoking these cigars, whoever smoked the perfect round by HowardGCigars.com, make sure you smoke both, whether it's the front nine or the back nine, vice versa. Yeah. Well, and you said it, speaking of all the lines, there's so much you, you guys have going on. Talk to us about the last year when you're talking to your retailers, you're talking to your customers. Mm -hmm. How's everybody receiving the lines and, and liking everything? Well, we can't keep product in stock, to be honest yeah. with you. And, and, a lot of times when I have these conversations with, with our retailers, I say, listen, you know, we're still, we're still getting better and better. Yeah. So, I mean, last year, PCA, we did five times our projected amount of sales. Yeah. So it kind of threw us at a curveball because it was like, oh, wow. Yeah, because we caught you on the very last day of the show last year. And you and you said that to us. You said you had a you had a goal and you and you broke through that ceiling by five times. Five times. Which, and this year, I'm hearing it's even better this year. Yes. So. Okay, so where we're at now, so now we have to. Most people, you know, you, you want to. That's how we, you know, want to take a step. Yeah. When you end up going like this, 
<laughs> you know, you're like, oh, right. I'm, you know, and so that's where we're at. And, right. and it's never a bad situation for us with that. Yeah. Because the simple fact of the matter is, that means more people are finding out about us, more people are trying the products, and more people are saying, you know what, I don't want to order the minimum boxes. Right. I want to order, you know, <laughs> just start off with 45 boxes. Yeah. You know, let's start off with this. And so now we're like, oh, we didn't expect all of that, like, at that particular time from yeah. different angles. So where we're at now, we, we just we just continue to grow, continue to let our product. I said, listen, we're gonna let our product age. We're never gonna let it go past where it's not. We're gonna always produce the same type of stick. Yeah. So the way we, we always started. And that's that's where we're at. And so we're just excited because the, 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 there's a lot of green in front of us. And uh and while there's a lot of green in front of us, you know, we, we got we got we got a breakaway right now and we see the end zone and there ain't nobody in front of us right now that's gonna stop us from it. That's right. So we just pressing forward and, and enjoying it. But every single day, we literally enjoy just being a part of a lifestyle of smoking cigars. Yeah. You know, I can go a couple of days, I can be at the office, I can do things. You know what? But Bill Ike, if he's in town, we're gonna get together, we're gonna smoke a stick or two. Yeah. It's gonna happen. Yeah. You know? And that's that's one of the great things about this show, is being here with the people from, like you said, every walk of life, every religion, every every look, whatever it is. We all get together once, maybe twice a year. A lot of us don't get a chance to see each other very often. And to take that time to, obviously, you want to sell your products, but also just to get together with everybody, say hi, check in, talk about each other, talk, hey, how are your kids doing? How's your wife doing? Whatever it is. You know, and that's that's important. So, talking about that, looking ahead to next year, we have a little bit shorter time between this trade show and next year. Are you going to be at the PCA next year? Absolutely. Nice. See. Absolutely. Yeah, it's important. It's important for us to be here. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's what we do. Yeah. Yeah. That's what definitely. So, so what do you guys? What's what's the you know the aim? You know what you guys and obviously this is new this year. You have something maybe planned for next year? Yeah. So we have we, we have a plethora of things that we have coming out yeah. that we're going to be releasing later times. You know, I'm talking I'm talking with this guy here because we I want to do a limited edition something that that, that we've been you know off and on talking about and stuff like that. And so those are certain things that we want to we want to bring out at certain times. Yeah. Different uh, technical blends that that we've been playing around with that specifically on his passion, on his palate. Uh, there's some things that are on my palate. We have a thing we call I Can How We Slinking Cigars. And uh, so we might do something with that as well together. Uh, so, but as far as, you know, that kind of stuff, it'll be uh, uh, something that we'll just pop off with it. Yeah. You know what I mean? It won't be like anything that is gonna be like designed to release at a particular show. Right. We have other stuff that we will be releasing. Yeah. For, PCA, uh, for PCA and TPE. Okay, nice. So, but, you know, it just depends on how we're able to put it together because we bounce stuff off of each other. Yeah. Like, we literally, literally bounce. So I'll say this and then I can say, well, brother, how about we do it? I'm like, okay, we're not in a rush. So, all right, yeah. well, let's, cause we, once, we, once we put it out, we want to be like, damn it, that's what we yeah. wanted to do. Yeah. That's what we wanted. Yeah. So that's the, that's the being authentic part about it for us. Well, it's been, we have loved getting to know you, getting to know your brands, um, and we've had a lot of great feedback from our viewers. Uh, so we look forward to just just keep doing what you're doing, keep putting up the fight, and and we we love the the you guys have just endless energy, and you're putting that energy into your products, into your presentations, uh, and just just keep doing it. We really appreciate what you guys do. Yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for spending time with us today. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. And uh, we'll see you again soon, all right? Take care.